What are the seven trumpets in the scroll of Revelation? And why does the book of Revelation consistently point us back to the number seven? Let's look deeper into the scripture from an ancient Israelite's point of view as to why John's use of the number seven and what these seven trumpets of judgment really mean. In Revelation 8, 9, and 11, the Apostle John describes a time during the end of the world when seven angels sound seven trumpets. Each trumpet announces a new round of judgment upon the people of the earth. John uses many sets of sevens all throughout Revelation. There are seven angels, seven assemblies or churches, seven seals, and seven trumpets. Revelation 8, 1 through 2 says, When the Lamb broke the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Shockingly, the reason for this long silence in heaven is because of the shock and awe after the six previous seals were opened. The judgment that was just poured out on the nations who rebelled against God were so intense that complete silence in heaven was the appropriate response. The breaking of the seventh seal announced the time of conclusion and culmination of God's judgments. If the opening of the six seals were so terrifying, what would the final open seal be, if not the very peak of the Lord's judgment on the wicked? Revelation 8, 7 through 12 says, The first sounded, and there was hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled into the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was hurled into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. The star is named Wormwood, and a third of the waters became Wormwood. And many people died from the waters because they were made bitter. The fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were struck, so that a third of them be darkened, and the day would not shine for a third of it. And the night in the same way. The first five trumpets are patterned after the first five plagues of Egypt. So the first trumpet, hellfire and blood, corresponds to the hell and fire in Exodus 9.22. The second and third trumpet, poisoning of the waters and the sea, corresponds to the plague of the Nile in Exodus 7. With the fourth trumpet, darkness is equivalent to the plague of darkness in Exodus 10. And the fifth trumpet, locust, is the same locust in Exodus 10:12. And just like in the time of Pharaoh, the people, even after these judgments, still don't repent. Alarmingly, trumpets one through four are considered light in comparison to the last three trumpets of Revelation. Revelation 8, 13 says, Woe, woe, woe to those who live on the earth because of the remaining blast of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. These last three trumpets are considered even greater judgments. God's judgment is now on a whole new level than the fifth angel sounded. He opened the shaft of the abyss and smoke ascended out of the shaft like the smoke of a great furnace. In Hebrew thought, the abyss was a place of darkness, chaos, and Leviathan. This abyss is also sometimes identified with Sheol, the realm of the dead. Revelation 9, three through six says, then out of the smoke came locusts upon the earth and power was given to them as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were told not to hurt the grass of the earth, nor any green thing, nor any tree, but only the people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not permitted to kill anyone, but to torment for five months. And their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings a person. And in those days, people will seek death and will not find it. They will long to die and death will flee from them. At the sixth trumpet, we come to the description of the second woe. Revelation 9, 13 through 15. Then the sixth angel sounded and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. And the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released so that they would kill a third of mankind. 
Interestingly, Revelation 7, 1 through 3 and Revelation 9, 13 through 15 are part of a single unit and meant to be understood jointly. Revelation 9, 14 through 15 is the release of the four angels who are bound at the Euphrates River. And Revelation 7, 1 through 3 is four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth. And I saw another angel and he called out with a loud voice saying, do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the bond servants of our God on their foreheads. Just before the last trumpet sounds, John has a vision of two witnesses, which I will talk about in detail in another video. So one question you could have right now is probably, what will the last three trumpets be like for those living on the earth? To find out, subscribe and watch the video that I pinned above.